Gary, I know in your, your first few weeks here you've set some very high standards for the players and we fell well below that today. Yeah, we weren't good enough right from the start of the game. First half just didn't get going uh, and I felt there was opportunities to play. and we, we didn't take that. Second half I thought we were better, uh, early part of the second half especially. Uh, but then too easy to score goals against us as has been the problem for a number of weeks now. The first goal in individual error can be forgiven, but it was probably the second, third and fourth goals that were probably you were more frustrated with. Yeah, I have no problems whatsoever with the first goal that happens. It's, it's part of the game. What I do have a problem with is when we don't try and implement what we're working on, when there's a, a fear, when there's a uh, apprehension about going after the game. Uh, we, we had a game plan to be on the front foot today and for that you've got to, got to show desire, you've got to show uh, some bravery uh, in and out of possession and we, we didn't do that so uh, we have to be better. What did you say to the players at half time because obviously there's, there's misplaced passes, you could have, they're getting frustrated with themselves with each other, what, what was the message to them at the break? Uh, I don't think I can repeat what was said at the break to be honest, uh, more about attitude really, more about mentality and application and like I say try to do the things we're working on, uh, too many players taking the easy option and, and when we do that, we're, we're not doing what we've worked on all week to, to obviously be a threat in the game. When we did do it, there was, there was opportunities for us. We didn't quite have the final pass or it was sloppy play when, when we did get through. Uh, so again, we, we have to improve that. We have to be better next week. Again, facing too many efforts on goal. Jamal saved us a few times today, but we're probably relying on, on him a bit too much at the moment. Yeah, I feel for him. Uh, to be honest, I thought he was superb today. Uh, as was Jake Caprice and, and Sam Nombe, uh, I think they can uh, be proud of the performance. They, they gave everything. They, they did what you know asked of them. But uh, unfortunately, you know they were they were a small number uh, because uh, too many players were were off it today. And uh, like I said, Jamal, I feel for him because a lot of goals are going in his net, and he, he's he's actually doing really well at the moment. A few raised eyebrows before the game when we saw Josh Key on, in that front three. What was the thinking behind that change up there? Uh, I felt Stano needed a break uh, physically. Uh, if anything, we were probably a week uh, too late in giving that, probably last week. But he was doing so well, it was hard to leave him out. But this week, decided to give him a little break and freshen him up. And then I felt like Josh's speed and his, his quality at carrying the ball in 1v1 situations could give us a threat and I, th I thought he actually did well in the first half and, and periods without getting his final pass away uh, but then we had to make the changes at half time and, and obviously had to go away from that. On Stanner though, you, you brought him on, he looked lively, had probably one of our best chances of the game early on but it looks like it might have come at, at a cost at the end, what, what's happened there to Jay? Yeah, I'm not sure. I've, I've obviously spoke to him. It's his shoulder, I think. I don't know how, how serious it is, but hopefully it's, it's, it's not too bad. And an insignificant as it may have been at the time, it should have been a penalty, no? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, we have to look at ourselves first, but I think there was a lot of decisions today that didn't, didn't go our way, but uh, I think that one was probably one of them as well. But we have to look at ourselves first and foremost. The goal came from, from Jake Caprice's cross. It, it was. So you could, we could try the same, trying it plenty of times in the game and it didn't quite come off and then sods law it comes off when we're 4-0 down. Yeah, but that's what we have to learn as a team, that you have to stay in games, you have to be competitive, you have to stop other teams attacking your goal and uh, shooting at your goal, getting opportunities, you have to know the game. When we allow Cameron Brannigan to come in on his right foot, we know what he's going to do with the ball. Uh, so there's there's lots of little errors that, that are adding to too many too many shots, too many goals uh, going in the back of our net. How frustrating is it knowing what could potentially have been at stake should we have won this game? Yeah, that's what I've just said. It's uh, an opportunity that we have passed up, and, and when the draw comes on Monday, then uh, that's going to feel even more disappointing. But uh, we we have to deal with it and we have to move on. Is it almost a case of? You know, if, if Oxford are to go and draw one of the big boys on Monday, do you want the players to, to feel that hurt and feel what they've missed out on? Yeah, we'll all feel that hurt. We're all part of it. Uh, me, first and foremost, you know, I have to take the ultimate responsibility, which I will. But uh, when that draw comes, then for the whole football club, it's, it's a disappointment. But we didn't do enough today to, to get ourselves in the hat. And uh, we will obviously feel that even more on Monday.
pick up, pick up positive. Harry Lee was um, cup tied, which meant Andy Salden could be named on the bench today. Didn't feature, of course, but for someone like Andrew, it's so important for him to get a taste of that first team environment. Yeah, it's great for all the young lads. Mitch was nearly on at the end just to come on for, for Stano as he was going off, but time was running out. So uh, these young lads have to gain this experience and, and these type of atmospheres so that when the opportunity comes, they're ready. So important now, put this one behind us, more come next Friday. Yeah, I've, I've spoke to the players and, and said we, we have to come back in Monday morning and be ready to, to work and uh, do things better and, and be prepared for, for another huge game on Friday night. But uh, we have to learn lessons. It's, it's the, same, uh, the same problems that are occurring week in, week out, and we, we have to do something about that quickly. Uh, and finally, 400, just under 450 City fans here today. Not much to shout about, but they, they got behind us the best they could. Yeah, amazing uh, to, to come this far again. Uh, Travelling numbers and applaud the players off at the end shows the support that, that they have for this, this football club. And uh, we thank, for, thank them for that. Uh, and we're disappointed we didn't repay them with a victory, but uh, we hope we can do that again in the next game. Thanks, Gary. Thank you.